Hi guys, so we have a new update, version 6.2.0. Uh, basically, it's the artifacts and also the multi-battle, where now you can um, auto-farm and then you do some other stuff like guild war, uh, arena, siege, and a lot of stuff. Tatarus. But of course, now we have the buff of the artifacts. And I have a 10 run on um, Steel Fortress. Oh, and also we got an increase in the artifacts uh, storage, right? Increase uh, 400. Now from 300 to 400. So we can find more artifacts. And yes, this is matched up, but uh, it's only two legendary. The other two already uh, power up them. And I take a look at the first three artifacts that I got, and I'm quite happy with the buffs because this is a blue, blue artifact. And it rolled twice into uh, the first uh, uh, sub properties. Speed proportional to loss HP up to thirty three percent. Seems like a lot. Usually it doesn't it doesn't roll to that high, right? It doesn't roll that high. And now suddenly I have a uh, speed proportional to loss HP up to thirty three percent. It start with uh, nine percent. It rolled twice, uh, twelve percent and twelve percent. So that's decent, right? The max it could roll is 12 actually, uh, 14 actually. So I don't get the uh, max roll and I have a, a low starting uh, speed because it's 9% to 14%. But the first time I see like it's still 3% it's pretty pretty good I guess. And the second one is also blue, blue rune but it looks kind of nice because it's a water artifact which I can use for Tricaru, Ikaru, Ikaru 2A. Uh, it has a defense main set, which is good. Damage dealt on fire plus eight percent, which is good also because uh, I use Tricaro in Dragon Speed Ten. Of course, and ne Necropolis too, but it's it's good. And the damage deal by attacking together is plus six percent, which is kind of fine, kind of fine, right? And then it has additional damage by three percent of attack. Could have been better if it's uh, additional damage by uh, uh, three percent of defense. And then we have defense. Professional to loss HP up to 9%, which is again is the start a low starting roll, right? But the the other one is not bad, right? It's in the middle range, but I'm quite happy with it. And now this one is the legendary. The first legendary that I got from uh, after the new uh, patch is this one. Water artifact and it's, al it's also defense, so it's good for my Ikaru again. Uh, HP when revived doesn't doesn't it doesn't doesn't matter. Damage dealt by counter attack, which is nice. Crit damage up to 9% as enemy hit points condition is bad. This is the new sub properties, right? And then we have speed increasing effect. It's 8 to 12, so I have 9. Again, not a very high one, and the rest is okay, I guess. That's HP when revised is the highest, speed increasing effect is the highest, but that doesn't matter. Okay, and let's see what we got next. We have light HP, damage dealt on light, damage received on water. Okay, which is decent. Uh, fire defense artifact, this one. Oh, six and eight. The highest for both. But I kind of don't like. Well, defense main stats and then life train and attack power when revive for fire. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Maybe Perna? But it's a defense main stat. You want like uh, attack or hit points means that for a pun, right? Wait, okay, okay. This one next is um, ooh single target skill crit damage plus four percent on your turn, but then it's bomb damage and a uh, fire HP means that. Okay, that's a okay. Let's see if we can get the the single target skill crit damage roll twice. We don't care about the bomb damage. A fire artifact HP main stat. Oh, it goes into bomb damage. Of course, of course. Can we get another roll? Oh, nice. That's a max roll, right? Four. Yep. Okay. Okay. Not bad. I mean, it's not really good, but it's not bad, I guess. Okay, crit damage up to 8% as the enemy HP condition is bad. 
this one is from 8 to 12 so that's a low starting um thingy uh this one damage light and this one yeah it's okay i guess fire artifact attack okay this one uh, the second legendary that i got water again ikaru again damage dealt by attacking together good crit damage up to 8% as enemy hit point condition is bad. That's a low starting one. Damage there by counter attack. Damage there by. Oh, this one is quite nice. Damage received from win. That doesn't matter. But this one is nice for Ikaru, right? Let's roll this and see what we got. Okay. I like the new artifact buff then. I mean, we got good stuff. Okay, crit damage up to 17% as the enemy HP condition is bad. That's. Uh, that's 11. Wait, 9? Okay. That's not a very high roll. Oh, it goes to damage received from win. Hmm. That's the that's the only sub properties that I don't want to get. Uh, the, the power up. Hmm. Plus 9. Can I see a plus 9? Something good, maybe? Okay, 3%. Damage dealt by counter attack. And then one more hopefully goes into the, the the tree. The tree above, right? We need we don't want it to go to damage received from wind because damage received from wind is still fortress, which I don't use Hikaru, right? Okay, come on, plus two of it. If this takes a while, I might fast forward this. Oh. Okay, so plus 12 and we got another roll into the crit damage up to 25%. So that's uh, another... Wait, 9... Wait, that's a low roll. 9 and 8. I got 9 and 8. But crit damage up to 25% as the enemy HP condition is bad. Okay. It will help when we are attacking the dragons, right? Because the hit, hit points getting lower, right? Hit enemies HP condition is bad. Does that mean he has when he has low hit points, right? What's the max roll on that? Let me see. Um, it's eight to twelve, so I got low rolls on those eight, nine, and eight. Uh, we don't get any rolls into the attacking together. The damage dealt by counter attack is okay. Damage with the farm rain is okay in the middle. The middle range. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like this update on the artifacts, right? Seems like the number is a bigger, so it seems like they do more, give you more, right? Give you more on the, on what you, when you roll them up, usually it's like before it's only like two percent, three percent seems like kinda low, but I like this buff. So I'm concentrating on farming the artifact for now for the moment yeah because i kind of neglected my artifacts and we need to farm more to get more to get the better rolls right on the percentage because of the power up also getting buffed but the role when you power up you get more you can get more and all my previous artifact could be obsolete we need to change the artifact. I got good ones for my Ikaru. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. Okay. Okay. So, I hope you also uh, farm more on these artifacts. Get more. Improve on your uh, monsters, right? On the stats. Okay. Yep. I'm quite happy. I'm, I'm happy with this uh, update. And we got um, 100 more slots. On, on the artifact to farm and also on the, um, the artifact conversions on which i kind of don't use wait you can't get the conversion zones from anywhere else right you only can get them from crafting right yeah you can't get them anywhere else huh come to us need to be can you no you can't right you can't get we can't get the conversion stone from anywhere else besides from crafting. Yeah. Come to us should do something. Make a dungeon where we can farm and get the conversions thingy. Hmm. Okay. 
maybe that will be in the future updates probably okay so that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe bye